Good evening, everyone. Once again, work, welcome to Psalm and Great Awakening with Reverend Dr. Joshua Yu. And what a great joy to see all of you tonight. And we just have a wonderful and excellent uh, session together with Dr. Ken Smith and all of the wonderful people here with the Marketplace Ministry. And uh, they are still staying back. They are on fire. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. They are on fire and they are willing to share together. And uh, I, I usually share together with, with you the book of Psalm. And tonight, tonight we are going to learn together in the book of Psalm 129. And we pray that the cry in the book of Psalm, the expression mm -hmm. and the things that David and many of the psalmists went through is also bring the restoration in their life. And as they go through the time of difficulties, at the time of challenge in their life, they begin to trust God and that's why they have the victory in the name of Jesus. And tonight, this Psalm 129 is very interesting. And before I'm going to move forward, and the title that I'm going to share together with you today is that they have no victories. Somebody Amen. say, they have no victories. They, they have, have no, no victories. Victory. And I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Amen. Many times that we think that we have no victories, but today that I'm saying that they have no victories, okay? Amen. And we're in the house, we have together with the apostle, with the prophetess, and I would like them to introduce themselves, their name, uh, a little bit, and later they will share about their ministry as well, so that we will get to know them, and they will have program together with us. And thank you so much, Dr. Ken Smith, for bringing wonderful people and uh, we have been connected and believe that California will have the revival soon. The United States will have the revival yeah, soon. Yeah. And the oh, nation yeah. will have the revival yeah. soon. Yeah. And this yeah. is the reason why that we are here. And this is the reason why the Vision TV is aimed for. Committed for the Great Commission and committed for the Great Awakening. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, let us put uh, a hand together to give God a good hand. Yes. And, Hallelujah. And we also welcome all of God's servants here together with us. You can do better than that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Okay, so let us begin on my left side. He is a very wonderful man of God, powerful preacher, apostle of God. He is carried, and you can you can hear from his preaching that you can feel he carried the apostolic, apostolic anointing. So, yes. Pastor Lim is with us and his wife here, and they are going to introduce. So, yes. would you please just introduce a little bit so Absolutely. about yourself so the audience will get to know about Absolutely. You. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters. My name is Pastor Glenn Legron, and I come to you from beautiful San Bernardino, California. Yes. And I'm just so excited to be here with you today. <laughs> On fire with the man of Ooh, God right yeah. here. It's going to be a good <laughs> service today. Good service. Oh, yeah. yeah. They, they come. All the way from San Bernardino, uh, uh, forgive me if I don't know. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> we will help you, Pastor. Oh, yeah. Amen. I'm, I'm still learning. I'm still learning a lot of things to learn. And he come together with his uh, wonderful first lady. So would you please just introduce a little bit? Yes. Um, I'm, I'm Pastor April, and again, like we come from San Bernardino, we actually from the Wayward Outreach, and we just we're here to fellowship and and release the word of God to be able to share and just come into agreement with the pastor here today. And we just thank you for having us to be able to bring Amen. in God's word today. Wonderful. We are looking forward to see you here regularly. Okay. Amen. And I've been to your church. I've been talking with the senior pastor. And uh, mm -hmm. and uh, tonight tonight is what what a divide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a that divide arrangement of God. And your pastor already uh, asked me to go back. But for some reason, I have been busy, so busy <laughs> here. <laughs> to be there and uh, with us we also have a beautiful and wonderful and anointed prophetess of God and a regular programmer and Glory being to together in the team we are serving together would we just uh, Go ahead. You know what? I, I just thank God, you know, really. I give him all the glory for everything that he's done in my life. If it wasn't for him, I would not be here. Mm -hmm. So I, I have to encourage all of you that if you trust in the Lord, that he will restore you to many things, to many fruitful things that, that you've always wanted in your life. And I'm telling you, TV was one of the things as, as a student from junior high and high school and college I wanted to be on TV. But see, God, He had a different plan for me. See, He, he had to take me, He had to process me, and He had to, he had to purify me yes. for His glory, right? So Amen. after many years of not being on TV and doing human resources uh -huh. as my career, 
not it wasn't until I started serving God that God said, you know what? Let me open up that door for Cora because you know what? I see that this has been her heart's desire. So she's been trusting me. Now I'm going to give her her heart's desire, which is in Psalms 37, 3 and 4. Trust the Lord your God with all your heart, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. And tonight, tonight we have a wonderful psalm that uh, we can read together and we would like to read with you and we can learn together and we can share together from the victory that the Lord has given to us as uh, we go through those all of those experiences and the Bible said that okay well, we have four of us here so each of us will have two scripture to read okay, okay. and uh, maybe you have only one <laughs> okay. okay I will start with two and then Apostle and uh, wonderful people here Pastor here will read and the verse the Bible said that they have greatly oppressed me from my youth let Israel say but the Bible didn't stop it there I'm telling you it's wonderful something great thing even they said they have greatly oppressed me from the youth it, it seemed it to be a very long time the enemy tried to do something they tried to crush us down they want to stop us they want to oppress us they want to exploit us they want to take advantage of us whatever they do but listen listen and tonight the word is for you verse number two said they have greatly oppressed me from my youth but they have not gained the victory over me hallelujah Amen. it's the second time you see that whenever the bible repeated something again and especially in the ones in one uh, in one chapter or in one context that we know this is something is very very important right. it must be something that has been taking place for a long time it could be very negative or could be very positive but we see that here the psalmist said but they have not gained the victory over me. And I want all of you to say again, they have no victory over me. They have no victory over me. Okay, men of God, which will just deliver it? <laughs> amen, amen. And then in verse 3 says, My back is covered with cuts, as if a farmer had plowed long furrows. Mm. What the what the psalmist is trying to get us to understand is that I'm not just speaking from what I heard. I'm speaking from where I've been. That I've had a tough life and life had seemed like it was not fair. There were times in my life where I thought that God was not going to come through. There were times where people persecuted me and yeah. there were times where people would slay me. But the Bible says that though ye slay me, yet will I trust him. That I don't care what I go through. I don't care what I've been through. I am still going to do the work of the Lord. And and then he says this, but the Lord is good. He has cut me free from the ropes of the ungodly. Somebody say, praise the Lord for that. Praise that God Lord. is saying that even though, and the psalmist is saying that even though I've been persecuted, God has still been good to me. That even though I've been slayed, God is still good to me. That though the fiery darts have been shot at me, they may have even touched me, but they did not do what they were assigned to do. That he, that I am still here, I am still standing, and God is still good. And as long as God is still on the throne, of which we know he will always be on the throne, that I will have the victory in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Would you please just give a good hand for that? Hallelujah. Yeah. It's, it's very powerful. Oh, Our Pastor God. April, would you please just share the next verses, please? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I would actually like to read from yours. It was, I like the way it sounds. Mm. So five, may all who hate Zion be turned back in shame. Shame, may they be like grass on the roof which withers before it can grow. Humiliation, nobody, no growth. <laughs> a reaper cannot fill his hand and uh, with it, nor one who gather fill his, his arm. Poverty it, and weak, may those who pass by not say to them, the blessing of the Lord be on you, we bless you in the name of the Lord. Now going back to the top part which says oppressed from my youth that's the part that actually resonated with my spirit the spirit oh. of god spoke to me on that very strongly because the spirit of oppression is on a lot of people today and god is okay. saying what is the spirit of oppression it attacks you it creates you and mm -hmm. it makes you come into a mental and uh emotional stress yes it puts mental and emotional stress on you and it takes away your dignity and it puts you in a slave mentality. Mm -hmm. And God have called the people out of Egypt to take them out of that spirit of oppression. Amen. So in saying that, he has broken that oppression off of them. Like Pastor Glenn said, 
that even though they go through, yet you slay me, even though you slay me, yet will I trust you because the anointing of God is breaking that oppression off of them. Amen. And he Amen. is coming forth. And when they do, they have actually worshipped him in a place where they acknowledge who their Savior was. Mm. So I've, I'm really, I love that scripture. I was like, oh, that is really good because the Bible also says in Deuteronomy 24, 14, 15, that the, those who are oppressed, who, whoever oppressed them, they are going to have to pay for that because if they see the person in need and they still oppress them, all that person has to do is pray to God. He said, if they pray to me, then they will have sin upon their books. Amen. So that person, actually, they are at the hand of the person that they are doing wrong. So God has already vindicating them just for he see their hearts and he just waiting for them to speak out the word of God to them and he is going to vindicate them immediately. Amen. 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 He will bring justice to every one of us. Amen. Amen. Oh, we, we, we will share more about that one and uh, after that, after Prophet Discora, uh, we'll talk about seven, eight, uh, 7 and 8 and we're going to expound, we're going to explain and we believe that God tonight, mm. that the word of the Lord is going to set you free. He's going to oh, deliver yes. you. He's going to give you the victory that you need. He's going to give you the freedom that you need in the name of Jesus. Name Hallelujah. Of Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, as it says, it says, a reaper cannot fill his hands with it, yeah. nor one who gather fill his arms. Poverty and, and weak, is that weak? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Poverty and weak. Uh, may, may those who pass by not say to them, the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. So, what yes. this means is that for me, it says every person that we see, we need to say, bless them. We need yes. to give a blessing to them. I like to see when people are even like walking maybe with a limp or a cane mm -hmm. or someone say, Lord, heal them, please, Father yes. God. That's heal good. them. Bless That's them, good. Father. Yes. That's what God wants us to do. He wants to, us to use the power yes. of those words that he has given us mm -hmm. and declare them and speak them out. So that it comes out and will be fruitful yes. so that the reaper cannot take them. Mm -hmm. he, the, the, Lord, the Lord God will heal those people and he will bless them as we speak it to, out, yes. in, out into the atmosphere. Because we are atmosphere changers. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah, yes. Wonderful, yes. wonderful. Yes. And tonight I would like to share together with you when we talk about Psalms and, and Great Awakening. And when we talk about yes. the Great Revival, when we talk about the Great Awakening, it does not mean, it mean that we are no longer being on the oppression side right. mm -hmm. it means that you are no longer under someone it means that you have the victory that we need and tonight as we talk together that is it might be for a long time you have been oppressed just like uh, pastor april just mentioned about about intellectually you have been oppressed emotionally you um, emotionally you have been oppressed spiritually you have been oppressed by the devil okay emotionally you see that someone walk away from your life that you have leave you the devastation mm -hmm. and you begin to feel pain you begin to feel anguish you be begin to feel the melancholy you feel that the world is not worth for you to live anymore but I'm telling you that oppression even though it has been taken for a long time in your life but tonight when you listen to the word of the Lord the victory will belong to you the victory does not belong to yes. the enemies the yes. Bible said that even though they have oppressed me for a long time even emotionally I have been bare and have I, I, I have been tortured for a long time it, even though that my mind have been uh, have been tortured and my mind have been thinking about the revenge for a long time but I'm telling you that the enemies cannot win the enemy yes, cannot hallelujah. take over the victory that God has given to you Amen. and tonight we are talking about that oppression will be no more yes. that you will have that victory you will call that your oppression will be the defeat those who have been defeated ha, hallelujah yeah. you are no longer become the victim but you are going to become the victor yeah. in the yeah. name of Jesus yeah. yes. maybe yes. they want you to have the hopeless situation maybe they want you to have many furrows and you hear in the word of furrows here it means that you have many slash on your back. Wow. It, 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 it means that someone has been beating you. And yeah. here the Bible gives us a very powerful metaphor here. That you are just like an ox. Mm -hmm. mm. That the enemies just treat us just like an ox. Mm -hmm. They put the plow, a plow over right. us. Right. You know that the plow is supposedly for the ox or for the donkey or for the animals. Good, and the enemy just put that image, just say that you and I are just like that animals. Mm -hmm. You and I just like nobody. That's we right. don't have any value. We are not worth. We are just being an object for them to use. Right. Mm -hmm. 
and not only being a plow, put a plow on us, they also even whip us, and mm. that's why we have many furrows, and that's why we have many slash upon our our body. Mm -hmm. And at this moment, let's think about when Jesus received the slash, right. yes. right. and everybody right. said that by the strife that He received, yes. what happened to us? We are healed. What happened to us? We're healed. Are we going to be oppressed? No. Are we going to be sad? No. Are we going to con continue mourning? No. But the Bible said He's going to to turn our mourning into yes. dancing. Yes. Hallelujah. And I want to hear more from God's servant after some of this one. You see that not only about the furrows, but it's, they also talk about the wicked cords were broken. Mm -hmm. Many times that you see that yesterday we hear a lot of story from those who have a very tough life. They are the VIP of the club. <laughs> they are the VIP of the gambling house. They are the VIP of uh, those what you call the KTV uh, or pub, pub house. They are the VIP of what we call the casino. Yeah. And the wicked court continue just wrap around their head. Mm -hmm. They want to get it out but the enemy try to pull them back. And every time they want to break that wicked cord, they cannot make it. They That's cannot true. do it. Because the enemies are so wise. They are so powerful. They want them to go back into their drug addiction. They want to bring mm. you and I into the bad or unhealthy relationship. Yes. They want to bring you into the poverty mindset. So that you can continue to think that the destiny, my destiny is like that. I cannot change my destiny. Yeah. But I'm telling you the good news tonight. God wants to break that wicked cord. Yes. Amen. Are you willing to let him to break that cause for your Hallelujah. life? Yes. Yes. Are you going to willing to let him break that wicked cause of drug addiction? Yes. Yes. That yes. wicked cause of unhealthy relationship? Yes. That wicked cause of the sin that you are now still committed? Yes. Yes. But the good news for us tonight, it's just like verse 8 said to, uh, together with us that we and you and I will be blessed. Yes. Right? Yes. Shame will be no more. That's what's fine. Said shame will be no more. We'll be on your life. You mm. feel shame until the point that you cannot lift up your hands, right? Mm. Amen. You have that such an experience that when you go out, you look at other people and you feel that they are talking about you. Mm. When you talk, you saw the, the two people are talking and they don't talk about you, but you feel that they are talking about you. <laughs> when you go out and you look at the people when they're smiling you at, at you, they're smiling at you, they're smiling with a good intention, but you think that they, these are people are talking at me. Right. Do you have that kind of feeling? Shame. You cannot, you cannot uh, overcome it. You cannot uh, lift up your head to, 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 to walk straight. But today, that wicked cord of shame will be broken as Hallelujah. well in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody who said that you are being humiliated. Somebody said that in verse number 6, you are nobody. You have no growth in your life. In verse 7, it said that you are poverty. You can rip. You cannot rip. You see that the reaper, supposedly, we have, you, we, whatever we sow, we will ha harvest, right? Mm -hmm. But here, that they talk about that even we at the reaper. Mm -hmm. But here, there are two images here. We are as a sower. And I answer reaper. And yet we don't have many things to reap. We don't have many things to harvest. But he is also talking about another picture. That today from now on, that the one who already continue to harvest in your life for the in a negative sense, they are not going to get much. Right. You understand what Amen. I'm saying? Yes. They want to exploit your life. But they cannot exploit your life anymore. They want to control your life, but they cannot control your life anymore. They want to take advantage of your life, but they cannot do that anymore. They want to humiliate you, but they cannot do that anymore. They want to shame our life, but they will be put in shame because the victory belongs to you and I. And how about that, Apostle? We will just go ahead and just preach and, and, and challenge the people. As we're talking about shame, uh, the, the Apostle here says something that's so heavy is holding our heads down. But what I want to encourage you to do in the Bible, in, in the book of Genesis says, lift up your heads, O ye gates, yeah. and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Amen. And what's going to happen? The King of glory shall come in. Okay. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. What is the scripture telling us? That as long as we hold our heads up, we open up the gates for God to come Amen. in and take advantage of the opportunity. Amen. What do I mean by take advantage of the opportunity? Everything that the enemy has stolen from you, God is going to 
to give you the power and he's going to give you the authority to go back and take, take those things from the enemy yeah. because it belongs to you. You are the king and the kingdom ambassador yeah. of the kingdom of heaven. Yeah. So you are the gates that allow God to move here on earth. So he wants you to lift your heads up and open up the gates. What does that mean? Open up your mouth. Speak yeah. what you believe. Not what you Amen. see, but speak what you believe. Amen. Speak what you want God to do. Speak what you want to see manifested, Amen. not just in your life, but in the lives of others. I will not sit around and watch the enemy take over what God has given us the authority to be. Now, what we have to understand is that the enemy has a, dis he has a ploy, and it's called dictatorship. Mm -hmm. And what dictatorship is, is an illegitimate authority. Mm -hmm. And what that means is that he takes your power from you and try to turn it and give himself power. And I'm here today to tell you, That's no good. more. The enemy is defeated. You yes. are a priest. Yes. You are a kingsly, yes. anointed yes. person, yes. man and woman of God. Yes. And it is your time yes. to open your mouth. Yes. And like we were saying, the chains have been broken. You can take that ox yield off of your <laughs> neck and you can begin to plow your own destiny. You can begin to plow your own life. You can begin to allow God to do things in your your life that you never even imagined. If you need a car, you can say, Lord, I need a car and hold up your head and God will release that car to you. If there's sickness in your body, you have the power to have that sickness removed because it's not by what you go through, it's what Jesus went through. And he said, by his stripes, we are healed. So brother and sister, I command you to be healed in the name of Jesus. You have the power and the authority. So don't hold your head down. Hold your head up for today is a new day. Tomorrow is not promised, but the moment that you have right now, now, speak life into your own self yes, and allow man. God to manifest Woo, himself man. like Amen. never before. Oh, Praise hallelujah. the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 What a powerful word. Yes. You and I need yes. to receive that word and take yes. that word into yes. our heart. Amen. 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 Do not let those words it just just, just pass them through. Amen. But let those words will take heart uh, and begin to, 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 to have rooted in our heart Amen. and begin deep to rooted in our mind and begin to believe that God is going to give us the victory that we need. Amen. And maybe some of you say, Pastor, you don't know about my situation. Mm -hmm. I cannot. Yes, Pastor, you don't know. Yes. It has been for years. Pastor, yes, okay. you don't know what you are talking about. You may think that it's very easy, but I'm telling you the good news. If God can change all of our lives here Amen. and the life of the millions of people, God can do that for you. Amen. If God can use every one of us and today we can preach the gospel, God can do that one for you. Amen. If you just come to Him. The Bible said that come, those who are heavy laden. Yes. If you have the burden, just come to the Lord. Yes. The Lord invites you. You yes. have the burdens, you have the problems, you have the issue, you have the headache, you have the heartache, you have whatever the ache that you want to name it. Mm -hmm. God said just come That's to good. Him. Amen. And He's going to give us rest. Yes. And with that word rest, Apostle, would you please just hit it hard. Hit it hard. <laughs> I'm going to hit it hard by the releasing of word. Amen. Because God called me to release word into the earth. And that's what I, I love to do. Amen. So I'm just going to release those things that have, what has already been spoken in the atmosphere. And I'm going to release it into the hearts of men. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we just come right now, God. We ask Lord, that the, the angels, Father God, through your word, empower the angelic host to war on behalf of your people, Father God. Open the gates to psychological prisons, Father. And deliver them. And deliver us from the spirit of shame, embarrassment, harassment, and iniquity. Deliver us from the spirit of strongholds and pride. Yes. Deliver us, Father God, from the things that is hindering us, Father God, from coming to you, Father God. I Thank you that there will be no more log jams Hallelujah. on our mind, Father God. Yes. Give the Holy Spirit unrestricted, unhindered access to our minds, souls, and spirit, Father. That we were raised up, Father God, and become the children and the ambassadors, Father God, and the prince and kings that you have called us to be, Father God. Mm -hmm. I command every Jericho wall to come down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I speak Hallelujah. into everybody's situation and circumstance, Father God. Hallelujah. And I command it to line up to God's Hallelujah. divine Hallelujah. system and protocols yes. in the name of Jesus. I release seeds of hope. I release seeds of faith. Amen. I release prosperity. I release wealth. I release the God. I release godliness right now in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus. And I speak. I speak a prophetic word over each and every person that is hearing this word today. And Father God, I thank you that every um, poverty wall is broken. Every Amen. Father God hindrance is broken. Hallelujah. I thank you that procrastination is broken. Yeah. I thank you that doubt yeah. is Good broken. Yes. I thank you that oppression is broken. I thank you right now, God, that everything that's trying to hinder the mind of your people, Father God, is broken right now in the Hallelujah. name of Jesus. Yeah. I shake evil out of their illegal places. I command the heavens, Father God, yeah. to come down with divine judgment upon, Father God, the enemy is trying to come against your people Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I thank you that they are hidden under your word and they shall be revealed in your grace. And I release the power of your spirit right now in this room, Father God, 
God and in this atmosphere. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. Thank Praise you so God. much. Thank you. Now listen to verse number eight. And you are going to receive back right now. Yes. Now, the Bible said, May those who pass by not say to them, The blessing of the Lord be on you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Now, yes. in other words, let's say like this. People begin to begin to talk to you like this. Whenever they see you, they receive, begin to say, The blessing of the Lord will be on you. And we bless you in the name of the Lord. In the past, they said that you are being oppressed. But today, they will say that you are being blessed. Oh, in the past, they said that you are being in shame. But yeah. today, they will say you are glorious by the glory of the Lord. You see that the fire is not okay. Yes. I, we, 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 we need to stand up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in the past, they said that the furrows were up on you, but today they said, well, it's up on you, hallelujah. Yes. But in the past, they said that the court of wicked are surrounding you, but today they see that the fire, the yes. water fire, wow. and the angel are surrounding wow. every one of us. Before, they said humiliation is your name, yes. but today they said that glory is your name. Yes. Before, they said humiliation is your name, but today they will say that you are the child of God. Before, they said that you are nobody, but today God said you are somebody. Yes. It's just like Gideon. When God called Gideon, yes. he thought that he's nobody. Yes. He's been humiliated by the enemies, oh. right? He thought that he cannot rule anything. But God yes. said, you are my... What is that? What is God called Gideon? The champion. Yes. He's the warrior. He is not just a very ordinary person, my friend. Today, God will call you the best of the best being selected. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Just like yes. Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego. Yes. They are being the best of the best being selected. And so you are. Today, your enemy will begin to say that no crow. Oh, no, they are no, not going to say no crow any, anymore. They see the significant crow. Amen. Okay, I'm running out of words. <laughs> I, want to say, I want to say it more, but I want to tell you that today, that your enemies is trying to reversing what they said before. They said before you are poverty, but they said today you are so rich, you are wealthy, yes. you are so powerful. Oh, before yeah, yeah. that they said you are very weak, but today they said how come you are so yes. strong, you are so powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have to receive that word. And yes. today you have to pray that, that those who begin to pass by you, and those who are surrounding you, those in front of you, behind you, on your right or on your back, they begin to say that you are being blessed because yes. you are the children of the Lord's Most High. Come on. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise the Lord. You know, I always like to be an encourager of the word too because, you know, I know what the enemy did to me in my life and I am not going back to that life. In fact, now that I see how the enemy operates and what he does to make us oppressed, mm -hmm. I always like to say, you know what, that the God will turn around that situation, that we have to glorify him. That, that if you, like what Pastor Joshua was saying, that, you know, there's times when you feel like you are sad, you feel like you're lonely, you feel like you're all alone, that you don't even know what to do, you feel like God has left you. That is not God speaking to you. That is the enemy. He's oh, lying yeah. to you. So right. if you believe a lie, then you're believing the liar. Right. So therefore you cannot believe that lie. It's a lie that you are not worthy, that you are not good enough, that you are, you know, hopeless. No. God is a God of hope, and Amen. He's bringing you hope. Amen. He's bringing you life. He wants you to live the life for His glory, for His yes. kingdom. Amen. So I have to encourage all of you right now. The word of the, the, the Bible is truth. You oh, have Jesus. to read the word so you know the promises of God. Amen. You have to believe and, and have faith that He will turn around every situation, if it is a job, if it's, it's your marital um, status, if, if it's, you know, you, you feel like you're lonely, you're not lonely. You have God with you. You have the best person in your life. Amen. And that is God. I You know what? I am single right now. But you know what? I am I am married. Yeah. I am married because I am the bride of Christ. Amen. I am his bride. And I have everything in him. He has given me his heart. He has given me his love. And without his love, I cannot share love with all of you. But God had to change me. He had to transform me. He had to purify me. I had to, I had to give in everything. I had to surrender to Him. Everything now that I have surrendered, He has changed my life. And so therefore, I know that my identity in Him, you have to know who your identity is. Because once you do, 
You know your net worth. You know how worthy you yes, are. Yes. You know that you will go places. You know that you can travel the world as God has sent me mm -hmm. on that path. So I'm telling you today, seek the Holy Spirit. Um, it says in Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Amen. And all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, I want all of you, would like to invite all of you to stand up together. Because a while ago we see that the plow, right? Now we have to take action together and we said to take the plow off. Amen. Is that the correct English? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, take the plow off. Off of our shoulder. Yes. Take the plow off Woo. of our head. Take yes. the plow off our, our hearts. Whatever the plow that you have right now. Maybe just like a while ago we talked about the humility. The, I mean, I mean the, the, the in, inferiority. Mm -hmm. That you feel that you have inferiority to other people. Or maybe some of you will begin to see that you have been working very hard. But you cannot find any good op opportunity for promotion. Yeah. And some of you are in the financial difficulties in the situation. Or maybe some of you are hurt in your broken relationship. Maybe some of you will have the family issue and you, you said that, Oh, this plow is still on my, my head. This plow is still on my shoulder. This plow is still on, on, on my mind. I cannot get it off. But I pray tonight together with you. As we are going to pray for the awakening. And we see that it seems that the plow... The plow of division is still very heavy upon yes, the church today. Yes. Yes, and we've seen that, that, that every church has mind their own things. And, and, and we try to talk bad about one another. That is the plow of deception of the enemy. Yes. And today we have to pray that we see that there's a, another plow of lukewarmness or formality. Mm. We prepare, pretend to go to church, but actually our heart is empty. Our yes. mind is empty. Yes. Our mind is not in the world. Our heart is not there. We are in the church, but we still calculating what are we are going to do for the next hour. We are in the church, but we are still thinking of some of the sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. We are in the church, mm -hmm. we will begin to do something that we know that is not pleasing God. Mm -hmm. So today we have to break that plow and we mm -hmm. pray for the unity, for the revival mm -hmm. and for the mission of the church. We pray for the, Cali yes. the revival of California. Yes. And we Hallelujah. invite you to join us together for this California revival and healing movement. The movement is not come by men, but it's yes. come by God, the one who gave that vision. Hallelujah. But you and I have to take it. You and I have to take the action. You and I have to dream for it. You yes. and I have to pray for it. And you and I have to move forward and take the initiative. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I believe that it's very soon. You're going to see that will happen very soon. Pastor, would you please just, man of God, would you please just pray for the people right now Absolutely. and pray especially for the great awakening as we said, some and great awakening. And we see that the great awakening will not only happen upon us, the church, but also the society and the nation. Amen. Hallelujah. Gracious and most heavenly Father, we come before your throne today, Lord, to say thank you. Thank you. Old things have passed away, and all things become new. Now, release your power. There it is. Thank you. There it is. There it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you that even as I'm praying this prayer, that the yokes are being removed right now. Your angels that have been given charge over us are removing those yokes right now. The burdens are being removed right now. There it is. Poverty is being removed right now. Amen. Hallelujah. The spirit of infirmity is being removed Hallelujah. right now. In the spirit. It's all being removed. Depression is coming off right now. Yes, Father, I hear your spirit saying this. That the world has been looking for a, 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 a cure through pills, through medication. Yeah. Well, and that we are deceived by replacing what is supposed to be the word with medication. We're taking pills to wake up. We're taking pills to go to sleep. But the Bible says that we are supposed to meditate on his word day and night. And Amen. the enemy has found a way to sneak in and use medication. We're taking medication for pain. And the Lord is saying that I am ready to heal you now. Hallelujah. So we're seeing all across this gopher. I believe in your power. You are the king of yes, all kings. Lord. And you are the Lord of all lords. Hallelujah. And Father, is not the earth your footstool? There is nothing too hard for you, Father. So I speak your anointing all across this planet. Not just here in the United States, yes. but everywhere where this word will Hallelujah. reach, Father. Yes, Lord. Healing. Yes, Father. Right now. Yes, Jesus. There it is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We are healed. 
And Father, as you continue to do your mighty work, even after I end this prayer, when people begin to open their eyes, they're going to see Amen. things differently. They're going to hear things differently. Amen. They're going to think about things. They're going to start to think about what they're thinking about. Why? Because our minds have to be set on you and Amen. your powerful Amen. and matchless word. Amen. You are the undisputed champion of the Amen. world. Amen. There has Amen. never been a case too hard yes, for you. Lord. There has never been a trial too difficult for you yes, to overcome, Father. Father. You will stand in on behalf of us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your mighty way. Yes, Father. And we seal this prayer. Yes, in Lord. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.